Yellow. This is uh, Moose Scrapper again. I uh, just want to talk to you real quick about something that I saw today. For the first time I actually got to use it myself. Um, I actually don't have it anymore. It was a buddy of mine who let me borrow it for a few minutes. Um, it's a met, uh, wire stripper uh, put out by TNT Tooling. Now, I don't like to advertise for companies. I, I just don't feel I need to do that. Um, there are very few companies, products, services that I would do that for. And after using this, I saw it on Mike the Scrapper uh, a while back, and it looked kind of too good to be true. Um, and it's it's an expensive little tool. It's about 79 bucks. Uh, but man, is it worth it. Oh my god. There's basically two ways to, to strip wire. The easy way, which is using this tool from TNT Tooling, which I'm going to put a link right here. Um, so if you click on the link, um, it'll take you right to um, the site that, that sells this product. It's, it's fantastic. It's TNT Tooling. They're based out of Canada. So it's, it comes right out of North America. So what I want to do is show you what I actually did with this. So I had a bunch of, uh, you know, 14 to, you know, house wire and a bunch of computer cables just like this. You know, just stuff that computer cables, um, wires that come attached to everything, you know, like off of VCRs and TVs. And in about a half an hour, I was able to take 10 pounds of insulated wire and turn it into this. Now, just so that you can see, you want to figure out if it's worth the 79 bucks? Well, from 10 pounds of wire, which you would have gotten uh, 10 bucks for, 10 pounds of insulated wire translates into 7 pounds, 7.8 ounces, so 7.5 pounds of copper. Plain copper. No insulation, nothing. I mean, this came from everything from, uh, wow, there, there's cable in here, the, the degaussing cable that's found uh, around the tubes and TVs, ran right through it. I mean, most of those things are wrapped with electrical tape and they can be pretty messy to try and strip on your own. This tool completely cleaned it off, no problem whatsoever. Two, you know, the thickest gauge that I had was, you know, regular housing wire. I think this was 14.2. Uh, um, you just pull it right through and it stripped it, no problem. So if there was a product that I would recommend buying, it would be this wire stripper from TNT Tooling. Again, I'll put the link here and I'm also going to put a link to Mike the Scrapper's video about it as well. Phenomenal tool, I highly recommend getting it. Um, the other method to stripping wire, I'll show you in a separate video. It's much longer, it's more dangerous. Um, but if you have the time, it takes much more time as well. If you have the time, you know, this is how you would do it. Um, this is how I've been doing it in the past, but now I'm saving up for that, that tool from TNT Tooling. Bottom line, you have to ask yourself as a scrapper, what is your time worth? And if there's a tool out there that'll save me tons and tons, I mean, this would have taken me hours to do other, otherwise with this tool from TNT Tooling. 30 minutes, I was done. Everything's all stripped and in a bucket. It's beautiful. All right, so that's it. Um, I'll be posting another video soon about how to scrap wires without this beautiful device. Um, I'm sorry I don't have it now. My buddy took off with it, wouldn't let me borrow it overnight. Um, but again, I'll post a link to it. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and see y'all later.